So today's program is a combination of Akron Public Schools' interest in Farm to School programming. October is Farm to School Month, and uh, they really put on a nice event today. They have a bunch of organizations from Northeast Ohio that are involved in local food. You have Hattie's Gardens from the Hattie Larlam Foundation, Countryside Conservancy, American Heart Association, and it's really on a focus of educating uh, public school children on the benefits of nutrition eat nutritional eating and local food. You are watching SGTV. This episode of Socially Good Television is brought to you by Akron Public Schools. Visit akronschools.com today. Uh, I believe Farm to School Month is something promoted through the USDA. It's a national-wide program and it's really to engage kids in nutritional eating and then all aspects of their diet. So learning where your food comes from, why it's uh, beneficial to buy locally um, and, and sustainably, and ultimately just engage kids with where their food's coming from. Today's program was amazing. There's been a lot of preparation, preparing for this program, getting the community involved, getting all the Bucto cluster involved. Uh, Dr. Katrina Hasala has been amazing and an instrumental part of putting all of this together. We are involved with Schumacher, Krause, and Helen Arnold. Um, already present in our schools, we had a um, program called VeggieU, which was from a grant that we received five years ago and has been able to sustain it since then. And um, introducing students to gardens and vegetables and where their food comes from. And with this other grant that we just received with Hattie Larum Farm to School, we were able to expand the program and looking at the curriculum even more and providing opportunities for students to go out and see actual gardens in the community. I thought it was really awesome to see the third graders coming tonight to get excited about what's coming up in the future and, and as, as an introduction to Veggie U and Chick Quest for them and just really to get them excited about what's to come. I learned when the different kinds of food groups and how the worms eat, how the worms eat the different kinds of food, like banana peelings or apple cores, they eat that and make compost. I learned about the food groups and I learned about the worms that they make their food out of soil and I learned about the compost group. It was really an awesome uh, event seen from third grade on up and how the older students are even involved in it and former students of mine and they're still interested in that science is just wonderful. Uh, the wonderful feeling gives me of I did a great job just seeing their interest still blooming. We've got parents now asking, how do I become a part of this? How do I help out with this? What can I do? So we're seeing it do what we had hoped that it would, starting from the ground, from the inside out with our students and going home and involving our community so that our community has a place to come and do their gardening and learn about how to go ahead and produce their own food. <laughs> it's a cricket. You can do it. Eat them. Yep, we're going to eat them. I want to eat them. I can't, I can't oh. chicken it out. Oh. Is they alive? Oh. Thank you for watching SGTV, Socially Good Television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.